Merry Christmas, David Thorpe here, and this is my Christmas video message for 2023. My reflections on the year, my thoughts and ideas for 2024 for my YouTube channel, uh, to reach out to you guys, and to also share some of my best highlights and funny moments from this year. So welcome to my home, Casa del Thorpe, and I'm sat here next to my anorexic Christmas tree. Um, so yeah, just gonna run through some points. Uh, apologies, I am very tired. Uh, it's been one hell of a year, especially in the last few weeks, where I've actually very unprofessionally got my agenda on a sticky note here that I'll be running through just to help me with this video. Um, and yeah, just wanted to say thanks to you all um, for viewing and liking and commenting uh, the response to my videos, um, to my views on the world in dating has been absolutely overwhelming. Um, and I had an aspiration to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year um, through giving you guys uh, free value. And I've actually yeah, got double that. So it's been great to cross 2000 before the end of the year um, and just more and more interest in certainly ideas that I'm putting out there. Uh, engagement and just for you guys and uh, girls to be able to comment back and email has just been fantastic. So um, overwhelmed really and what's quite clear to me is that uh, interviews are really important and hearing the views of others which I've been able to garner from people in Sydney has been really really important and uh, I'll be doing a lot more of that in 2024 and also exploring a lot of the themes that were coming out from uh, those videos that dating is an absolute war zone for a lot of people. Um, a lot of themes, um, lack of trust of men and women respectively, um, dating is impossible, uh, people giving up, again both men and women, internet dating is a huge cause of discontentment, social media is also to blame, um, entitlement from men, entitlement from women, um, just the huge amount of themes that came out and, and my most popular video this year asking men um, why is dating so hard in 2023 is uh, probably now a th 100,000 views and over a thousand comments which I've, I've not been able to respond to all of them so I, I am getting there. So um, yeah definitely doing more of those next year um, and tackling a lot of those themes that I've just run through individually as well. Um, ideas for absolutely loads of videos, Passport Bros, another one that I was just looking at today. Um, but then of course, you know, the usual stuff from me. So uh, Cold Approach, How To, uh, I know those videos are really important. Um, texting, and I actually need to start doing videos on dating. I've been getting emails and questions about that, um, also from my face-to-face -face clients. Um, also uh, relationship advice as well, um, obviously I'm in a relationship which some of you know and some of you don't um, and that's going great and that's been going great for three years, over three years um, and yeah a lot of people have been asking about that and I haven't done a single video on, on any of that so definitely keen to share my, my experience there. Uh, I'm on a roll now so I'm just going to uh, keep going. Um, I think another thing that I mentioned last year in my Christmas video was that uh, it would be great to meet some of you guys face to face uh, and that has very much happened. So through approaching coaching uh, from the free sessions and then also the paid packages as well. Um, it's been really amazing just to meet you all uh, face to face uh, to work with some really uh, fun, driven, ambitious guys. And I say this to all the clients, whether they do a free session with me and or a paid uh, approaching session is that every guy that comes out and does does approaching coaching um, with me is a hero in my eyes because they are the exception, they are not normal, which is a good thing, um, and they are very much rebelling against what society is telling us that you can't do these things um, or everyone's just afraid of one another and um, it's hopeless. I, I really uh, relate to the guys who actually stand up, um, ignore that, book in with me and we go out on the streets of Sydney and soon London as well. Um, because uh, these guys, they want to go out and meet someone authentically and in a more real manner than internet dating. And that's obviously what happened with me. I met my fiance from an approach on the street as well and not through internet dating or anything like that. So um, it's been really great to meet you guys. Um, and yeah, approaching coaching, I've obviously got bookings now. 
January and beyond. Um, London is just starting to really get some interest as well. So I'm going to meet three of you guys uh, on Saturday the 30th of December and fully booked. So really, really pleased um, about that. I just want to see where I can go and take that. Um, I've already talked about 2024 videos, so <laughs> that's that. Um, and thanks to the people that support me behind the camera, um, namely my fiance, who is holding the camera right now. Um, we did want to go out and film this on the beach and then for me to chase you around on the beach um, in a nice uh, bikini, but uh, we can't do that as it's raining and really quite cold. Um, but thank you to my fiance for all the support unconditional love that you give um, and supporting me in my endeavor with Mr. Thorpe um, and lots of other people as well, family, friends, uh, numerous videographers throughout the year that have all been excellent, uh, Olivia, uh, Thomas, Zeus, Junu, um, the list is growing in a good way. So um, that's, that's been really great. Cameraman Dan, of course, the legend cameraman Dan in London, uh, who we're still staying in touch with, and he is running an excellent channel, Dating Anxiety, uh, the Dating Anxiety guy that you should definitely check out as well. Um, my video editor, uh, Mohammed. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else. Um, no, but anyway, just, yeah, that's been great. Um, I'm gonna do a live stream. I have had one or two comments about live streams. I need to actually do one. I will. I wanted to do one after I got a thousand subscribers just because I didn't want to turn on live stream and then get no one and that'd be embarrassing and talk to myself. Um, so I will do live streams and that would be great to kind of interact with you in a more uh, real manner rather than this one to many watch. Um, Christmas plans for me. Um, I'm actually knackered so apologies for the, the tiredness. Um, it's been a very busy last few weeks with YouTube, uh, moving house, uh, wedding plans next year uh, and yeah spontaneously going to the UK in a few days time um, to see family and work with you guys out on the street approaching coaching so um, I definitely need a break and on that uh, I will be posting uh, normal long YouTube videos from Monday the 22nd of January uh, but I will be posting shorts throughout um, the holiday period um, which is good and some of the one, the videos that I'm working on right now is uh, how to approach a girl at the gym uh, and more interviews um, about the biggest problem people are facing in dating right now and then just exploring down those topics uh, with the fine people of Sydney. Um, I think that is everything. Um, I don't want to keep banging on. Um, but, oh, I will now cut to the... Um, highlights some of my funniest, best moments of the year, uh, my clippings from the year from my YouTube channel, um, which I will leave you with and I won't come back to my anorexic Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, just a final word again, just thank you very much for taking the time to support me, um, watch the channel, and in return, I hope that I've made improvements to your dating life, um, that you feel that it is possible to have what you want with who you want um, and it totally is and I, I do believe that very much and even though it would appear that the, there are a lot of negative views out there and people that don't feel it's possible I do believe it is I do believe it's possible in Western society uh, it's not too late and it's not all screwed up and it's a lost cause it certainly isn't um, and you know I feel I'm hopefully the embodiment of that and um, with the relationship that I have and how that started and uh, you know, my, my 10 years in the dating space. So um, just thank you again so much for supporting me, um, encouraging me, uh, and I will absolutely be continuing into the next year and the years beyond um, and just see where, where I can take this. And, and if I can help you in just one way over one video, then, then that is enormously positive for me and I'm, I'm really grateful to be able to, to do that. Um, but without any more rabbiting, uh, let's cut straight to those highlights. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, and this is my little cute microphone. Okay. That's all I can afford. Right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since you have to go, I have to go. Yeah. Let's grab a drink sometimes. Sure. Sure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yes! <laughs> I'm sweating. You yeah. did it! Is there anything worse than being a guy? You, you look very nice. <laughs> it's your bright flowing dress. I saw you from a million miles away. Hello, I'm David. I really believe that girls do need, and you know, women do need men, and men do need females. Guys, hello, and welcome to London. Good stuff. <laughs> well, look, how about I give you my number, sure. and you text me if you're interested. The, the girl in question, she's literally just texted me, where are you staying in London? So, I'm gonna just show that. I find that uh, because of online dating, I've lost a little bit more confidence in approaching women like in person. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, can I be a bit cheeky? I'm just on my way to the park, I think. <laughs> no, nothing. I just want to say to you guys that we seem to come out with a walking stick, which I've never had before as a student. Um, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm really glad I did this. And if you're thinking of doing it, just do it, man. It's free. You got nothing to lose. How about um, just being spontaneous? How about we go for a drink now? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, Which, let's go to a pub. Yeah, I don't believe in feminism at all, okay. at all. We've met like this. You seem very nice. I know I'm nice. We've taken a I fleeting don't know. chance. Where is modesty gone? Where has modesty gone? Where has it gone? It's what the Australians have done to me, my love. They've turned me into this <laughs> confident Christ. person. Okay. Where on this mountain here, I found out that I've just achieved a thousand subscribers. Let's just say these days loyalty is just a tattoo. Oh. They're all boys. They're not really, they're not real men. I always yeah. get into something knowing exactly what I want. But what about yourselves apart from distracting Englishmen? Uh -huh. oh, it's not for a walk. Uh -huh. it's for a... No one really appeals to me in Sydney. Okay. Yeah. Melbourne maybe, but not here. How many approaches can I do in one hour? I forgot your name already. Yeah, what's my name? David. David, yes. David Thorpe, coming to you from the top of a mountain somewhere in Sydney. But you're quite a broad guy. You've got I like to think I am. I like, I, like, <laughs> I like to think I am. I, mean, I, I try, but uh, not, not enough, not enough. My phrase is, um, be a good man, not a nice guy. Guys, until next time, uh, I'll see you soon.